Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we cleansed Divine Beast Vaughnaburus of the Thunder Blight of Ganon. Which means that we are in the Gerudo Desert. Which means you're probably wondering why I am at the complete opposite end of the map. Well, I was wandering around, because every now and then, I will farm off-screen uh, the, the Fiery Stone Taluses, or the Infernal Taluses. And I'll, I'll just kill them, because they give treasure. And I was wandering around here, seeing if I could find anything, and I stumbled across a shrine indicator. So I started wandering around, following the shrine blip, and eventually I found it, and that is what we're doing this episode. So, let's go ahead and take out uh, some bombs, and kick that in there, and then also use stasis. And get this this train going because I found it and it's a little bit out of the way we also wandered by it when we were here last which makes me wonder how on earth I missed it if I possibly had my my shrine uh, or my Sheikah sensor on something else I don't know but somehow I missed this so you can barely see it straight ahead of me and we were right next to it when we fought the, the stone talus over here. So, like I said, I have no clue how I missed this thing, but I did. So it's it's just a quick little detour. It, we're not going to be spending the entirety of the episode in the Elden region, because honestly, I feel as though this is the only shrine I'm missing. So we're just going to ride into this this stone, which is in the convenient shape of a crab. So we're going to ride right through here, and shrine. The Shoraha Shrine. Blue Flame, Shoraha Shrine. Oh. Okay, I was expecting... I was expecting not this, I was expecting like a, a blessing or something, but this looks... Oops, the wrong thing. This looks like... It's bigger than any other... Also, this is a guillotine. It's bigger than... Ugh. But than any other shrine we've been in. Just look at the scale. This is huge! Oh, uh, where are we going? Left? I guess we could go left. Wow, what is this place? Let's do that. Now, can I direct this while I'm on it? No. But I can... Kind of... Ladder this? I'm probably gonna fall. No? No, I'm good. Okay. Move this over there. And then jump on it, just kind of step ladder this, oi, what's in here, anything cool, there's something, up oh, I see what we have to do, wait, what, what was this, uh, it was a royal bow, I didn't, I wasn't paying attention, it's a royal bow with durability up, I have so many of those, it's not worth it, in fact, I wonder, and this is a good question, do they scale, oh, I wonder if they scale the rewards to the, uh, a big air quotes here, to the level of, th that you're at. Because we keep getting royal bows with durability up as a reward, and there's no real reason why we should. Uh, is it worth taking this? I don't think it's even worth taking this torch. I think I can just use a moblin club as a torch here. Okay, so that's the mechanic of, of this this shrine is we're lighting these torches uh, there's nothing there that's weird but presumably the, yeah this will open up a path which has water in it just what is this shrine and then also there's something up there which I have no clue how to get to but there's clearly something up there it's not that's not I, I don't even know oh it looks like we can get over there from a platform all the way over all the way over to my right so that works. But yeah, I think they scale these these rewards up in strange ways. Oh, goodness. Can I drop this? No, I can't. Uh, wait. Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. Yeah, I th can't I light this with a blue flame? I think I can. Yes, I can. It's brilliant that they thought of that. And honestly, I, I think we're supposed to do this a little bit differently, but this is a... Yeah, this is a possibility. 
In which case, I might, because I have a golden bow on me, I might be able to make some pretty impressive snipes from from here. Uh, golden bow. I. This sounds ridiculous, but I think I can. Okay, you come down. Shoot. We got that, which brings up the stairwell. But can I make the most impressive snipe of the century from here? I... It's looking like I can't. Yeah, I don't think I can just because those the water is continually... Would continually douse those flames. So, instead, let's... Let's follow the path that they intend. With us lighting this. Making sure there are no torches over there. I don't believe there are. And climbing up this stairwell. There's a pressure plate. Which does what? Tilts this towards us? Oh, boo, 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 doo. What was the point of that? Also, I could have grabbed that spike ball in retrospect. Do I need. You know what? I think I need a blue flame. I guess while I'm doing this, since I don't, you know, it's, it's, it seems like a formality to complete by this point. Uh, oh, there's a blue flame up here. Well, that was a waste. I guess I could t kind of talk about some of the stuff that's happened. I, I haven't, I've saved a lot of my words about the, about the story thus far for when we would, uh, for, well, for when it was done, because there's so much happening, I, I didn't want to formulate any theories or input uh, when there is a possibility of that them just being overwritten by new developments So I've kind of saved my opinion thus far uh, about about what what has happened. Uh, that's a great flame blade. Do I want that? Yeah, I think I'll take that over an ice rod and You in the comment section have kind of picked up on that and and helped me a bit uh, one of the one of the comments which I I am referring to of course was ooh giant ancient core I'm happy about that was talking about how the my I made a comment about how the um, the Yiga felt similar to the dark interlopers of Twilight Princess and that's something I haven't brought up thus far I used to theorize a lot about it when the game was was just beginning earlier on in the series about where this fit on the timeline. Was it a sequel to Skyward Sword? Or was it uh, a direct sequel to Ocarina of Time? Is this is this Link the hero uh, the hero of time? From like the, the failed or the the hero death time What on earth? That's weird. Uh wait. What? Do I need to No that doesn't work. Um, oh, I got it. Okay, so... Do that. And light this. And light this. Done. Now, please don't squirt it out. Okay, it's fine. Okay, cool. Uh, so... I haven't really... I haven't really brought in any input on that. What did I just do? But I, I think now I've kind of come to the conclusion that this this version of Link isn't any Link. It's use that to desync the two. Um, I don't honestly believe that this game is really canonical anymore. It feels so much like a, a just a remix, a really weird remix of every Zelda game. That is awesome, by the way. That I just don't think that it it fits into the timeline anymore. Uh, we actually need to land on this. Okay, and then use this to light that. Use this to light that. There. Um, I I really don't think it fits on the timeline. I think that this Zelda game is almost just a proof of concept. I have, a, I have a plan here. Or do I have a plan? How do I... Oh, we can use this to cross here and just get the chest. Yeah, that works. This works. 
I really just think it's a it's a proof of concept for the formula being changed and not actually canonical to the story. It's not really meant, and, and this is my conjecture. There's a very hidden chest. This is just my conjecture because obviously I've not seen the entirety of Breath of the Wild. I do not know what the. I don't even want that. Um, I have I have not seen the entirety of the story. I don't know how it ends, but I believe that this is is just kind of a a remix of of saying okay this is what we've come up with over 30 years of Zelda and we're gonna make a game that kind of it it reaches across the aisle towards every part of the fan base and says okay this this is this is something for everyone here why do I hear oh you guys uh can I in fact uh let's uh, bring out fire arrow. Booyah. Goodbye. Oh, does this kill them? Yeah, I think it does. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. That's not cool. Link, get up. I thought you were going to be on fire. There. Do I want any of these? I don't think I even do. I don't think they're any good. So yeah, I just, I, I don't think that it's canonical anymore because we see so many different portions. Okay, one of the, one of the, the most, uh, ugh, some of the most damning evidence for this being just kind of a, an ode to Zelda, not an actual Zelda game, is the fact that there are certain things which should not exist in the, the timeline of Zelda. Like, they shouldn't exist at the same time. But they do. Uh, one of the prime examples of which is uh, Mikau. Oh, where is it? There it is. I don't don't know how I missed that so many times. There's Mikau Lake, which Mikau is from uh, Majora's Mask, which is theorized to be different. I, well, it's a different dimension, honestly. So how would these people know of of Mikau when he's just a normal guy, which you just stumble across in a completely other dimension. Like, it's not even that he's a great hero and he's renowned, so maybe the legend somehow passed along. No, he's just a, a traveling, like, just a normal dude that plays the guitar. Uh, and then you have Rallus Pond. You just have so many different aspects. For example, the Zora and the Rudo exist in the same, the same world, whereas the Rudo are evolved Zoras. Like, this is fairly handily confirmed. I believe this is how I do it. No. Do I need that forest dweller? I need the forest dweller sword. Don't I? Yeah, I do. Uh, let's... Scribloink. So I just don't see how these can exist in the same... The same realm. Maybe there's some Christmas... Like, magical Christmas land uh, version of the story which makes sense. Maybe Mikau is just a common name. I don't know. But it just... A lot of things don't align. It is cool that they made cer that they made certain things canon well not canonical but they they made all these different nods to different things. For example, Fee is in this game. We hear her. We don't see her, but we do hear her. It just still doesn't make sense how she can exist, whereas some things don't. It just trust me on this. I don't think that this is there. We go. I do not think that this is canon. Or if it is, it's retconning certain aspects of the story. Look at that sword, that's so cool. It's retconning certain aspects of the story uh, in in weird ways, so a lot of things that we thought made sense no longer do because they're just, they don't exist anymore. Okay, are we done with this shrine? Can I go back to the Gerudo Desert? I think we can. I think I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully I made sense. Those are just my thoughts on the series that, that this is just reaching across the aisle. It's an olive branch to all the different parts of the fandom who enjoy different games and and enjoy different timelines, and this is trying to throw them all together into one. And it works! It's a fantastic Zelda game, but at this point, I don't think that it's a sequel to anything. Alright, that being said, I'm gonna get this orb, and I'll meet you guys back in Gerudo Desert. I like to be the one to do the cooking. Jerk waits until after I take the cooking class to tell me this. <laughs> Poor girl. <laughs> Honestly, since she keeps saying unique dialogue, I am perfectly content with with letting her kind of cry on my shoulder or listening into her woes because it's entertaining to me. Does that make me a jerk? I think it does. 
Okay, back in the Gerudo Desert, I would like to rent Vazak. Yes. I would like to seal the deal by renting a sand seal and exploring the desert. I have received instructions that there is somewhere in this desert where I can get uh, snow or or sand walking shoes, like snowshoes. Uh, so I should keep an eye out for a tent where, which has a guy in it. And I've also been told... Can I jump? No, I can't. Uh, I've also been told to keep an eye out for a tent uh, which which has that guy in it. So tents will be my best friend. All right, the first place we're heading to is this shrine near the Great Cliffs that we had spotted a few episodes ago. And of course, we're going to hopefully loot some treasure on the way. Also, it is very cold, so let's, let's do that. Please stay, thank you. All right, is there any treasure worth getting in here? There are a bunch of there are a bunch of Lizalfos, but I don't see any chests. Just some metal crates. Is it worth being in here? I don't think it is. Okay, I'll I'll leave. Goodbye. No, you don't. You run. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. They, there's no way they can catch up. And we're heading towards the orange marker, which means I need to pull wide left. Circle around this. Also, there's that which is the red marker circle around the bazaar and eventually we can we can get there oh there's my old sand seal or maybe not maybe it's just a wild one I don't know they they don't all look alike to me because they do have different colors but it is hard to remember the specific color since there is no like meaning to having that okay where where are we headed here the problem is with with this is if I go into a shrine I have complete uh, I have complete confidence that my seal will disappear there's the shrine I you know I'm gonna stop behind this rock and I'm gonna kill these guys it's it's fun stay in fact uh, let me let me ensure that this guy remains faithful with apples Will apples do it for you? Here, have some apples. Enjoy. Okay. You guys are bad. I'm going to kill you now with stealth gear. Oh, also, off screen, I upgraded the radiant the radiant gear uh, up to one star across all of them. I didn't have enough luminous stones to get two stars. I've also been told what those do. I completely forgot about that. Uh, I've also... Whoa! You hurt. Oh, goodness. They know. They know. They know. Okay, time for stealth is gone. Uh, <laughs> uh, they cause stal enemies to appear more frequently. Uh, but at two stars, at, at full startage, they also... Let's see. Eat this. And then eat these. They also cause... Uh, what am I saying? They also cause those style enemies to ignore me entirely. This is bad. Uh, I actually want... I want... I want Urbosa's Fury. Do I have it charged? I also want Darude's Protection. Okay, come on. This is good. Light... Yes! Okay, this is perfect. I need this crowd control. And... Thunder them again. Awesome. Uh, let's get out... Ooh... The blizzard rod? My trusty blizzard rod? Or they... Oh, they're pretty much all dead. Oh, well... Then let's just get out another Dragon Bone Mo Boat Club. Oh, that guy dropped a sapphire. Man, Urbosa's Fury is good. For crowd control? I mean... The... Oh, you don't you shoot me. The spin attack is already great if you're trying to control a crowd, but this is especially so. This is great. Okay, I'm taking damage. Is it daytime? No, I'm still cold. And Royal Broadsword, don't really want nor need it. But I will grab these tails. I've I'm not running low, but they are a good source of income. Also, if they're gonna continue dropping gems, then I should be stopping for every single every single danger, every single encampment. Oh, you died. How do you like the death? Does it taste good? You, you can die. Who's shooting me? Oh, you. Would you like a taste? 
Enjoy the taste. And then you as well. Is there anyone left in here? No. Well, <laughs> so much for being strategic. Sometimes I, I enjoy <laughs> using stealth, but other times I kind of blow it and just have to barge my way through. But thankfully, I'm OP. I have... Really? All that for a Gerudo Spear with, with Long Throw. Well, it looks cool, but I don't have anything I want to sub out with it. Like, I got a Liz Lizal Tri Boomerang with attack up 14, so that's actually a good weapon. Surprisingly, it's a good weapon. What is this fog also? Whoa. Look at my map. Do you see my map? Do I? Oh, that's scary. That's so scary. Uh, you know, let's traverse this on foot. I think that's thematic. It's it's cool. So we saw, I think I saw the shrine behind here. This has never happened before. Am I taking damage from anything? I don't think I am. Well, this is, this is cool. This is really cool. Okay, uh, let's grab this. We've never seen anything like this before. It, it reminds me, I guess uh, all static at this point reminds me of Gygus, but it reminds me of Gygus. What is that up there? Is that, that is a shrine. That, that's where we're headed. I don't, I don't need you. All right. Uh, let's grab whatever this is. Warm, uh, Seflina. And you know, this also reminds me, oh, what is the game of, uh, what's it called? Uh, Journey. Yeah, it reminds me of Journey. Of course, it's sand, and sand is bound to do that. But the, the pillars, the imagery we're getting here... Where's my climbing gear? Remind me very much of of Journey, which is a fantastic game. Not very long. You should check it out on Steam. It's really fun. It, it one, It's one of those games that leaves you with a lasting impression. Like, Breath of the Wild is fun and all, and it's... It's one of those games where you're like, oh, I play Breath of the Wild. You you sink many hours into it. But Journey is one of those ones that you play it, and it leaves you with an impact and changes how you look at games from then on out. You look at, you measure them all by by that short, like, eight-hour experience. Uh, what am I doing here? Is there a path I can take? Oh, there is. You, sir. You want to shoot at me? Ah, that didn't work. Let's try this again. Come on. Come on. I'm good at this. Yeah. Well, how, how did you like that? I like that. I didn't even target you. I just held up my shield and, and bashed you. I need to pay attention here, actually. I need to be looking up. This is this is where they hide seekers, in these small catacombs. Uh, there's that. I assume there's going to be a guardian right around the corner? No, actually. But there is this. There is this, which does something, uh, whatever, what is, what, I guess I'll ride this over and grab the ball and bring it over here, I don't know, uh, oh, I can't take that with me, oh, that's not actually a metallic or something, or it's, it's locked in place, what am I doing here, am I taking this thing? I believe I am. And there's also this platform, which I don't see what it does, but it does something. Oh. Oh, we need this. Hmm. Uh, is this metal? It is metal. Hmm. Okay, I have an, I have an idea. We're going to put this back on. Uh, and I'm going to stop it. All right, I'm going to get this thing back, uh, and once I get onto it, I'm going to wait for it to go about the, the max range of Magnesis, and then I'm going to pick this thing up, and then we're going to throw it onto that, that net would be orange switch. So. Perfect. Now we're going to bring it over, and I am close enough. I'll bring it over and touch it to the switch. Which will bring us over. I'm not sure if this is actually how we're supposed to do it. This is one of those very band-aid solutions. That makes me feel like it's not intended. But uh, sure, sure, we did it. I'll set this down. Oh, 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 oh. We need that. 
I need this. I need this for my collection. What's inside? Anything good? Moonlight Saber, so no. Uh, let's leave that alone then. Yeah, me talking about them scaling up rewards. Th that is that chest right there is the flip side of of that argument where you can easily say that they don't. They they do not. We can't actually electrify these. Uh, you guys, please. Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, send it back to him and send it back to you. Done. All right, what were we doing again? I think we were throwing this down, weren't we? I'm <laughs> In case you couldn't tell. Whoa! In case you couldn't tell, I, I get really cocky <laughs> whenever something, whenever I do something like that, and I feel like I am just the cat's meow. Which, to be fair, I am. I am. I am all that. Uh, where are my things? Uh, where is my armor? There, shock damage resist. Actually, one thing that you guys could tell me in the comments: what is the difference between shock resistance? And shock damage resistance. I do not know. Does it just mean once I have like full rubber rubber armor, I could just walk onto metal things that are electrified and be fine? I don't actually know. Uh, this thing. What does it do? Ow. Hmm. Hmm. What are we doing with this? That, that's doing that. There's a. Wait a minute, that's a, that's a crystal switch. Oh, I see what it is. Okay, so this is a, a shortcut. Which takes us back to the near beginning. So if we fall, we can, we can take that back. But then, what is... Why is this something I can interact with? Here, let's, let's unmagnetize that. No, no, no. Unmagnetize it. Is there a reason? I don't see why. Is it... It might just be to show that we can electrify things. But... It's strange that they chose to gi give us interaction with it. I'm not sure... What that's all about. But I will... I will tug and push and pull on these. Just to make sure that there isn't... A secret. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Well, whatever. And these don't actually seem to be metal. Here, l let me listen to the sound. No, these aren't metal. You can't hear the, the sound, sound effect for that. Okay, well, let's take this with us. Why am I using Magnesis? I don't, I don't know. Don't ask me. I should probably be carrying this so I don't accidentally throw it. Okay, this thing will come down. It is also a box, so we need to keep in mind that it won't roll. Whereas in in the uh, in the Divine Beasts, those totally would roll. Okay, run through here. We can set this on the terminal, and that electrifies the chain, which looks really cool. Okay. So, assumedly, this. Assumedly, uh, uh, I assume that this means that. Wait a minute. Oh, is this. Oh, this is coming to us. Oh. I was gonna say, do we need to go back to the beginning or what? Oh, well, this. What path is this going to take? I'm a bit worried. Yes, yeah, I thought. Oh, okay. Get ready to move this thing out of the way. Throw this over there. What am I? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Throw it over there. Uh, yeah, I thought so. I knew there would be something there. Take me back. And oh, that was close. I didn't actually press jump. Whew, radiant shield. Do I want that? That is that something that I'm interested in at this juncture? Radiant shield is 35. I don't think I actually want it. I don't think... Wait a minute, wait a minute. 35 with durability up as opposed to that. So, yeah, I, I can I can see myself taking that. Okay. Okay, I get one one shot at this before I have to... Ugh. 
or else I'd have to do some backtracking. And we're done. We got out. Whew. Oh, is the storm over? Looks like it might be. Now that doesn't mean that I am done with this area because it also heads deeper still into what? We're kind of heading off the map here, which is odd. Where is this? Does this empty out into snow? Still have Druid's protection with one charge left. Where is this emptying into? I also need to keep on the lookout for for uh, luminous stones since I have run completely out of them, thanks to uh, thanks to upgrading the radiant gear. So I need like I need like ten or fifteen more. So I, I should be cutting this up. Normally I pass this up, but I do actually need this now. Is this this just ends here? Okay. Well, that's exciting. Uh. We're almost at the end of the episode, but I think I can explore a little bit further. I at least want to ascend to the top of this this canyon, like jumping up there. Oh, hello. You, uh, you know I have a master sword. Apparently you don't, because if you had, you would have run. Well, goodbye. Okay, so I could climb this. And there's at least, yeah, there's something here. I assume maybe a boss, like a talus or something. So let's let's climb that, and then end off the episode when I fully explored it. There's my there's my sand seal. Because I kind of doubt that this is hiding anything more. Maybe it might hide something over there. So during the end slate, I might head over. There is nothing here, is there? Oh wait, no, there's Korok. Okay. Saying that Urbosa's Fury is a bit overpowered? Uh, actually, wait a minute. This should be an easy one. Just set this right there. Yep. And done. Okay, now I'm, now I'm satisfied. Now I'm satisfied that I have exhausted this area. I will he be heading into that corner just to make sure that I'm not missing anything important. But otherwise, I think that I can... Uh, separate myself off from my seal. I think that I can end the episode there. We've done a lot. I'm not sure how exactly how much I'm cutting out, but my timer says that we are at time, and so I will trust that as to not make a 40-minute episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me I could make the next episode so that you would like it. I release new episodes of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday. Is that my walrus? I th think that's my walrus. I keep calling them walruses, but they look like walruses. Yeah, this is my this is my seal. I release new episodes of Breath of the Wild every Monday and Wednesday, and next time we're probably going to head. I could see us skirting the the desert in a a clockwise fashion because we've already seen this we already know what is what is in these two locations and so i could see that happening all right see you guys next time for another episode of breath of the wild and here's the shrine what is it called it is the misei suma shrine whoa whoa hi i this was not what i was expecting i just found found the shrine too Ugh, my throat is so dry. I can't move a muscle. If this really is the end, I wish I could ha have one last taste, one sip, one sip of ice-cold noble pursuit.